Hi everyone, you'll have to excuse me doing this uh, video from uh, the bird room. Um, the computer's uh, not working at the moment, so I'm on the iPad. Um, I haven't done a video for some time, um, and there's been a number of reasons. Uh, personal reasons, especially. Um, my father is going through a cancer scare, and I'm trying to be there for him. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been hard. But the hardest thing I find, Wellington, will you shut up, please? You all know Wellington, he's a noisy bastard. Wellington the parrot. Right. Sorry. I know a load of you get the ump with that to say, how can you take it seriously? But I've just looked at the um, Jada Franson and Paul Golding issue with Britain First been charged with causing harassment and distress to the people who raped a 16-year-old British girl. That has angered me to the point that I can't explain. I'd like to ask you, did you know anybody that was killed at Westminster? No, nor did I. Did you know anybody that was killed at Manchester, the Ariana, whatever her face, name is, concert? No. Nor did I. Do you know anybody, know anybody at the 77 underground bombings? No, nor did I. Do you think it matters that... These things have happened and it hasn't involved you. <laughs> well, I fucking do. It involves every fucking single British person with any fucking guts in their body to stand up to the establishment, to stand up to Islam and its evil ideology. The rapes of children are far worse than a lot of the other crap that they get up to. But they're getting, not only getting away with it, British people are getting put inside for exposing them. So in other words, right, excuse me, Mr. Policeman, this person's a rapist. Ah, right, okay, we're arresting you. It's fucking mental. I, I never wanted to go on around again, especially in my first video back for, for some time. Um, it's very hard for me not to go into all the shit that's going on again. But those who know me know I'm a fucking patriot and I will fight for this country. All this, oh, let's do it softly, softly, softly. That's great. If you're willing to wait for about 10 years and hope they don't attack us in the meantime. That's what I didn't realise. It was the amount of time it's going to take. Sometimes you get controlled opposition. And I'm sure most of you know what that is. You get people that do something that seems to be uh, part of what you believe in. But they do it to calm everything down. People have been rising up, have been getting more and more angry for the last... Oh, uh, to be honest, probably only the last 18 months, really. But now you've got all these little people rising up and saying, no, we do it this way, we do it that way. And what it does is it brings down the anger, it makes you forget about what's really going on in this country. What is going on in this country, what is going on in Europe, what is going on across the world is death, murder, rapes, child abuse, domestic abuse, women abuse. Have you seen what Saudi Arabia are doing? They're going to let women drive as from June next year, I think it's. Oh, fucking God. Give them the credit they deserve. 
they're going to let women drive. So they finally, in that area, have caught up with the rest of the civilised world. Now they've just got to stop beheading people and stoning people. They're doing that to make it look like, oh, well, we're making an effort, aren't we? You're allowing women to drive, you fucking idiots. The establishment of the people. Jeremy Corbyn is looking like he could be fucking Prime Minister. Jeremy Corbyn! He's a fucking terrorist-loving communist asshole. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. But who does anything about it? Nobody! Because we're all scared. Are we all scared? What's going to happen? Well, what if I do this? You can't keep just doing softly, softly, oh, let's go and have a bit of a moan about this in a demonstration where the police kettle you into a bloody corner somewhere where nobody can see you. Fucking brilliant. Excuse me, I've got an itch. It is absolutely ridiculous what is going on. It is a lack of guts in this country. I know there are a lot of patriots out there. A lot of patriots. But we are still, after all this time, you think about two years ago, say. How much further have we come on since two years ago? Nothing. Nowhere. We haven't come on at all. We're still being attacked. The government is still shitting on us. The police are still shitting on us. If you ever look at what the police have done to Golding and Franson, it's absolutely fucking outrageous. I don't know, uh, Britain first, uh, I'm a bit split on it because sometimes it, it sort of, it is like, we're going to do a demo here, we do a demo there, but they get far more involved than most of us do, don't they? So you've got to give them that credit. And we should be defending those two. We should be coming out in our tens of thousands and saying, you are not going to do this to people who exposed child rapists. No, fuck it. I was going to apologise for ranting. No, I'm not going to apologise for ranting. What, what's it going to take? I know you patriots, like myself, we feel sometimes isolated, but they're all over the place. When I was doing British Warrior then, which, which is still going, but I haven't been doing it because people have tried to destroy it. It was to try and bring people who are like-minded together. And what they are doing to try and destroy us is better than what we're doing. I don't know if that's a lack of intelligence on our part, a lack of um, cohesion in everything that we do because we're so widespread. But they're outsmarting us at the moment. All right, they've had years and years of experience. But lawful rebellion, everybody knows about lawful rebellion and nobody's really done anything involving lawful rebellion. It makes me so sad. As I say, my dad is facing a real serious cancer scare. And I don't want these last few years, if he does happen to have it, to be totally scarred by this country going into free fall with Islam and its disgusting ideology taking over this country, destroying the government from, from within, the police force from within, the local councils from within, the schools from within, blah, 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 blah. So, come on, we've got to do something. Contact me. You know where I am. You can fucking find me. If you can't fucking find me, then we might as well give up, aren't we? But we need to do something. I'm fucking had enough of it now. And... Oh, you bastard fuckers. 
stand up. We are Britons. We will fight. We will fight to get you assholes out of our country. We will get you bloody tra treacherous politicians out of office. You can all fuck off. You are destroying a beautiful country and a good people. Perhaps that is the problem. We're a good people. And we don't like to make waves until sometimes when it's almost too late. Thank you for listening. Thank you for bearing with the rant. If you feel the way I do, you'll understand it. Come on, Britain. We need to stand up. <laughs>